as we talked about, this boxer position with a leading left leg creates a, a higher opportunity, if you will, for laceration or cut. So it's very important that we protect our legs. Legs are protected uh, in, a very, in different garments. Um, this is a, what's called an apron chap. The fibers are uh, comprised of different things. They can be ballistic nylon, which is the white fiber, or Kevlar, which is the yellow. This is a mix or a blend. Uh, the idea is that when the chainsaw comes in contact with the garment, the chain break goes on right away because it's like a kickback occurring. The chain stops instantly, inertia throws the brake forward, and it gives you reaction time to move the saw away from your body. By the way, if you do ever have an impact to your uh, chaps or pants or wraps, uh, they are rendered useless. They're a good teaching tool because once they've taken a strike or a cut, exposing any fiber or any uh, burn or any melting of the denier on the outside, they're no longer usable. A couple things with the chaps. You want to refer to wash and care instructions that accompany the, accompany the garment. Uh, it's important that the fibers remain pillowy or poofy, if you will, as gas and oil and heat hits these things. They really uh, get mashed down and the effective stranding or the ability to stop the saw uh, lessens as they get older. So as long as they're not cut, you can have these forever. Uh, you just want to keep them laundered to keep them a little bit poofy. It's not about aesthetic or the look of it. It's about keeping the fibers from getting gassy and oily and so forth. Secondarily, you want to look for UL classification. UL means that they were tested in accordance with standards uh, that give you the maximum protection for the best value on the market. This is a pair of your basic apron chaps which run down the front of the operator's legs. It's a one size fits all. They clip in the back. The strap should be uh, on and should be put tight to the operator because when the saw comes in contact, if they're loose, it would have a tendency to turn the chap material and leave an exposed leg for possibility of cut or laceration. So these want to be on nice and tight, draw them up tight, and then you can take the straps and run them down the back of your leg, if you will, and they won't then grab onto the brush and so forth as you're walking out in the woods. The chap needs to come above your boot, if you will, and there are extenders built into the waistline of this so that you can make them longer or shorter. So they'll custom design to different body types and styles, if you will. Very important because currently the left leg is the leading area for laceration or cut. Apron chaps, they run down the front. There's also uh, protective chaps called wrap chaps. And they're the same as an apron chap. They run down the front of your leg, but they do clip on so that they give you a lot of protection uh, on the lower leg around the bottom such that if the saw were to come more in contact on the inner instead of the front portion of the leg, there is an added barrier of protection. And then the third means of leg protection is cutting pants. The pants I have on are like a wrap chap. They have material all around the leg to the front they're very cool in the back and near, they're breathable. Um, this is one size fits all, which is better for a crew work or something. If I'm out in the woods all day long, this is a lot better uh, situation for me. They're a lot cooler, if you will. Contrary to what you might think using a chainsaw, laceration is not the number one injury that occurs. It's actually struck by. Uh, things that come out of the tree as a tree is moving or after a storm, there's a lot of lateral bind and pressures um, associated to the wood and struck by or getting hit by wood, whether it comes down or comes laterally to you, is, is a key injury, the leading injury working with a chainsaw. So I have a protective hard hat here. The hard hat is made out of ABS polymer, which is the same material that we use on the chainsaws, very strong, resilient uh, ABS polymer, if you will, that gives you both impact protection and deflection protection. Now the hard hats do have a date code uh, on the inside, tells you when they were made. But it's really what's important is how much exposure to the sun because these dry out uh, and they become brittle and then they lose their effective protection uh, for your head. A good way to check a hard hat before you go to work is just take it by the ears and squeeze as hard as you can and look for stress marks or splintering or even fracture marks in the crown of the helmet. And that tells you that, that my helmet is good to go for the day. A key uh, feature of a hard hat should, should have a gutter system. 
The gutter system is such that it attracts the rain, pulls it from the back to the front of the operator, if you will, and then it drips down the front of your body instead of going down your back, following down your legs into your feet. Now you got cold, wet feet and you've got distraction and loss of focus and you got higher chance of injury uh, as you're working. So it's a minor thing, but it's a, it's a big thing having a gutter system on that helmet. This helmet system uh, has uh, hearing protection attached right to it. Hearing protection uh, is extremely important because your ears are the only thing in your body that don't grow cells, that don't rejuvenate uh, loss of cells. So you're losing hearing as you go and mid-range sound of a chainsaw of a lawnmower is extremely hard on your hearing system. So it's, it's important that you create uh, a, a barrier to the noise. Noise is distracting. Uh, noise creates fatigue and noise in turn creates fatigue and in turn injury. So we really want to limit that. Now you have earplugs, which is one way of isolating that, but there's a lot of hearing that comes through the outer bone mass outside the hearing canal. So really a muff system like this is much better. Now if you're out cutting under a blue beautiful sky in the summer and you have nothing overhead, no trees, you're just cutting firewood, then a pair of muffs work perfectly fine for you. These adapt to all operators. They adjust up and down for different skull sizes. They also adjust so that you can put more pressure or less pressure to the side of your head uh, as, you're, uh, as you're wearing them. So different skull sizes, these become very comfortable and in turn, if they're comfortable, you're gonna be more apt to wear them and wear them throughout the, the job. Glasses are not to be confused with face protection. You have to have some face protection uh, with the chips flying at you. You also want to protect your eyes for sure. Chainsaw glasses are unique in that they are 99.9% .9 panoramic. That means that when you put them on, they do not distort the field of view at all, uh, which in turn creates good focus and you don't have eye strain and so forth. There is a lot of problem with these fogging up on a hot uh, July day. So there, there are nose vents that are in, so it dissipates the heat away from the inside of the glass, prevents them from fogging. They also are adjustable up and down and out and in again to adapt to many different skull sizes and so forth for each operator. They're available in dark, sunny days or clear if you want to maintain eye contact or in the afternoon or times of the day when sun is not a factor. It's your call. Protect your eyes. Gloves. You're working around a chainsaw, not only a laceration, but you want to create a barrier to oils and gases uh, as you're working with the chainsaw. You don't want that getting into your skin and then getting into your system and creating some possible uh, issues long term. Chainsaw gloves are unique in that they are very thin between the fingers. Uh, when you put them on, they don't spread your fingers out. And if you, if you take your hand and spread it, and squeeze your arm, then put your fingers together and squeeze, you can see that your grip strength is enhanced greatly, so you're gonna use less uh, muscle to hold the saw and turn, you're gonna have less chance of cramping, less chance of dropping the saw, if you will. Chainsaws, gloves have protection on the left hand as well, such that if a chainsaw chain did come off, if it goes down below, a chain catcher pin will stop it. If it were to come up over the top of the saw, uh, in, in an application, you have some protection here that's going to uh, prevent uh, laceration or cut to your left hand. Boots are whatever is appropriate to the known hazards of the job. That's your call. Certainly working out in the uh, woods, you want to have something with a firm sole so that your foot's not going over every little branch because it in turn creates more fatigue to your feet. You want to have some ankle support as well to keep your ankles uh, from turning, twisting, sprains, etc. that way. So whatever is appropriate to the known job hazards. So that's PPE, personal protective equipment. And that involves your legs, your head, your eyes, your face, your hands, and your feet.